a chapter a day to brighten your way. The Israelites' blessings are yours too. Hello friends, let us read the Bible together. Today we'll be reading Deuteronomy chapter 33. This chapter is Moses' final message to the Israelites. He speaks about God's companionship and care along their journey and blesses the 12 tribes of Israel. I believe that when Moses accepted the task entrusted to him by God 40 years ago, he truly had the entire nation of Israel in his heart until the very last moments of his life. He was truly a great leader and God's most loyal servant. Now, Let's listen to his beautiful and warm blessing. Let's read chapter 33 together. Deuteronomy chapter 33 This is the blessing with which Moses, the man of God, blessed the people of Israel before his death. He said, The Lord came from Sinai and dawned from Seir upon us. He shone forth from Mount Paran. He came from the ten thousands of holy ones with flaming fire at his right hand. Yes, he loved his people. All his holy ones were in his hand. So they followed in your steps, receiving direction from you. When Moses commanded us a law as a possession for the assembly of Jacob, thus the Lord became king in Jeshurun, when the heads of the people were gathered, all the tribes of Israel together. Let Reuben live and not die, but let his men be few. And this he said of Judah, Hear, O Lord, the voice of Judah, and bring him into his people. With your hands contend for him, and be a help against his adversaries. And of Levi he said, Give to Levi your Thummim and your Urim to your godly one, whom you tested at Massah, with whom you quarreled at the waters of Meribah, who said of his father and mother, I regard them not. He disowned his brothers and ignored his children, for they observed your word and kept your covenant. They shall teach Jacob your rules and Israel your law. They shall put incense before you and whole burnt offerings on your altar. Bless, O Lord, his substance and accept the work of his hands. Crush the loins of his adversaries, of those who hate him, that they rise not again. Of Benjamin he said, The beloved of the Lord dwells in safety. The high God surrounds him all day long and dwells between his shoulders. And of Joseph he said, Blessed by the Lord be his land, with the choicest gifts of heaven above, and of the deep that crouches beneath, with the choicest fruits of the sun and the rich yield of the months, with the finest produce of the ancient mountains and the abundance of the everlasting hills, with the best gifts of the earth in its fullness, and the favor of him who dwells in the bush. May these rest on the head of Joseph, on the pate of him who is prince among his brothers. A firstborn bull, he has majesty, and his horns are the horns of a wild ox. With them he shall gore the peoples, all of them, to the ends of the earth. They are the ten thousands of Ephraim, and they are the thousands of Manasseh. And of Zebulun he said, Rejoice, Zebulun, in your going out, and Issachar in your tents. They shall call peoples to their mountain, there they offer right sacrifices, for they draw from the abundance of the seas and the hidden treasures of the sand. And of Gad he said, Blessed be he who enlarges Gad. Gad crouches like a lion, he tears off arm and scalp. He chose the best of the land for himself, for there a commander's portion was reserved. And he came with the heads of the people, with Israel he executed the justice of the Lord and his judgments for Israel. And of Dan he said, Dan is a lion's cub that leaps from Bashan. And of Naphtali he said, O Naphtali, sated with favor and full of the blessing of the Lord, possess the lake and the south. And of Asher he said, most blessed of sons be Asher, let him be the favorite of his brothers, and let him dip his foot in oil. Your bars shall be iron and bronze, and as your days, so shall your strength be. There is none like God, O Jeshurun, who rides through the heavens to your help, through the skies in his majesty. The eternal God is your dwelling place, and underneath are the everlasting arms. And he thrust out the enemy before you and said, Destroy. So Israel lived in safety, Jacob lived alone, in the land of grain and wine, whose heavens dropped down dew. 
Happy are you, O Israel, who is like you, a people saved by the Lord, the shield of your help and the sword of your triumph. Your enemies shall come fawning to you, and you shall tread upon their backs. The Bible calls Moses a man of God because Moses was chosen by God. I believe that God chose Moses because he saw his heart and knew that Moses would be a good leader who would love the people. Dear friends, although Moses' blessings were given to the Israelites, don't forget that we in the New Testament are also accepted by God's love. If you think about this while reading the last verse, doesn't it seem even warmer? Let's praise God, declaring, Blessed are we, who is like us, a people saved by the Lord. He is our shield and helper and our glorious sword. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, I know that I'm blessed to be saved. Thank you for your blessings to the Israelites through Moses, which have made me better understand your generous love. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. A chapter a day to brighten your way. See you tomorrow. Jesus loves you, and I love you too.